G'day everyone and welcome to the first ever Quaffle Whistleblowers where we go back through the tapes and have a look at a couple of umpiring decisions from the weekend. This week on the agenda is holding the ball. What are we looking at today? So we're looking at no prior opportunity. So the first two clips we see here, uh, the player takes possession of the ball. Uh, he's then immediately tackled and makes a genuine attempt to dispose of the footy. So we're not really looking to pin the guys here. We're looking to, as you see in the clips, have a ball up and we can restart play again. So now we throw to players with prior opportunity, but the onus is still on the tackler, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, in the first clip here, you see uh, the player takes on uh, his opponent uh, and therefore loses his prior opportunity, is then legally tackled uh, and doesn't dispose of the football correctly and is correctly penalised in this sense for holding the ball. However, in this second clip, you see the player drag the football in He's then immediately tackled, which is then his prior opportunity. However, the tackle isn't legal. The tackle's in the back, and the umpire in this example correctly awards a free kick to the player with the football. Well, we hope that clears up the holding the ball rule a little bit for everyone at home, but now we throw it to you. If you've got a decision you want reviewed or looked at, let us know, at AFLQ on Twitter. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.